Well, if you've ever wanted to paint perfect mountain reflections, this is the video for you. I've taken a white canvas, an 18 by 24 inch, and I've primed it with a lot of uh, acrylic paint, light blue to gray, and I've darkened the corners off with a bit more ultramarine. That's just in acrylic paint. And I've sketched on a little mountain scene. I'm gonna show you how I did that because the mountains below perfectly reflect the mountains above. Take some construction paper or card, fold it in half. Sketch on a quick little mountain range, be as complicated or as simple as you like. And then just cut out your mountain range. Be careful, scissors are sharp. Unfold the paper or card and what you're left with is a template. Now stick this template to the canvas. So I took the folded in our construction paper, drew on the mountain, cut it out, opened it up, and this will be a perfect horizon line. The horizon line is about three fifths down. You don't want it directly in the middle. You see the mountain is closer there than it is up at the top. Now, what I did there after this was just paint in some acrylic paint just around the template. Okay, then we can whip that off. And what you caught me doing earlier was putting a little bit of mist down there with some of that excess paint. Now we're ready to paint with oil. So what I've got for the oil paints, what I've got out is titanium white, burnt umber, French ultramarine, and a little bit of cad red as well. We're gonna paint the sky and the water first. So to make the sky, I've just taken a little bit of linseed oil. Okay, just put it on the palette. We'll grab a lot of white and we're gonna throw into this a little bit of blue there like that and to grade off a touch I'm going to dip in and get a little bit of umber and to give it a bit of jazz just a tiny touch of the red just like that that's going to be a base sky color now we're going to change the flavor every now and again we don't want it all one flat color so let's get to the canvas and paint this all over the sky okay the acrylic paint is all lovely and dry and we're just going to hit it with this oil paint. It's very thin, very, very thin, but I want to coat it all because we're going to hit it with a couple more colours after this. Okay, so just go right down to your mountain. You won't lose the lines, but if you do, you know where they are, don't you? You know where they are. So this is just a bluey grey colour. Just coat the whole of the sky. Okay, this is all done for now. Okay, that's the base colour all in. We just want some down in the water, whatever we've got in the sky. We'll obviously need down in the water. Now I am going to have a bit of land out here because I want a tree just on this right hand side of the composition just to set it all in. We've got mountains up there that keep your eye focused inwards, but it loses it here. So we want summer on this side, if, if that makes sense. But I want a bit of that grey sky colour just in, in there as well. So make sure you coat the whole of the water, not the mountain, not the mountain, not yet anyway. Right, all that's on now, so I'm just going to take a lint-free tissue and just dab off most of the oil, okay? Whatever we want will still be on there, but we want to get rid of a lot of this oil. This is what I usually do when I'm painting landscapes. Some folk use liquid white or magic white, clear gel or something like that. I find that the linseed oil gives a bit more smoother application that's just my that's just my thoughts okay i'm just gonna wipe all that off and maybe a little bit down here i want it still pretty pretty damp down in the in the water because we're gonna move a lot of this okay look at all that that's come off there now we can hit this with some more sky colors okay use an artist brush now not that big old thing you get from the from the hardware store okay i'm just using a bit of light blue it's almost white and I'm just going to go across the mountain, just like that, just with that white colour. Okay, and back down there, we want it paler around the mountain. And then again, same down here in the water, just go for it. Make it, make it loose, but something very similar. Okay, because we've got the linseed oil on, we can blend as we put more colours on. But I'm just grabbing some of this white just down there, like that. Okay, I picked up a little bit more blue and a little bit more red, and I'm just going to float this above. You can see where the red is there. Just above that white area. Okay, big brush, fill it in in no time. And then same down here along the bottom as well. Flip it over, get a bit of that red in there, like that. Blue, brown, and a little bit of white, and we'll just hit the corners, darken them off a little bit darker. Bit. That might be a bit too blue. We might have to hit that with a bit of brown. We'll, we'll see what we go. Paint over the easel as well. 
no problem okay i've taken a dry clean dry brush and i'm just going to start off in the light area and i'm just going to tease that light area up into the blue and the brown and the red okay i'm losing some marks there but that doesn't matter before i go up further in there i'm going to do the same down at the bottom okay just like that now you can paint that and then this but i find this will do it a little bit more a little bit more better now i'm going into the blues just down there I seem to have lost a hair there no problem okay just take it across side to side with this one okay now back up to the sky and tease that all together to make a nice soft sky ready for a nice cloud okay we're going to paint some clouds up here so i've just taken some white on a fan brush it's got a little bit of that blue in and i'm not going to put a monster cloud in just something like this and the more you touch the more it'll pick up the underpaintings that we've done but i just want a little indication of a cloud just somewhere like that that, that feathers out maybe it's a flat bottom cloud like so and we'll put some gray underneath that just to give it a bit of shadow and maybe we'll have another one up we'll have one up in the corner but we'll have a smaller one just there at the back behind them floating behind the mountain or something like so maybe something down here far far away you can hardly tell that they're there okay into that white i've just picked up a little bit of blue and brown still lots of white on the brush and i'm just touching the underside of these clouds with that little bit of color okay not much maybe a bit on that one there like that just tea to it in like so we'll blend this together with a very soft brush in a moment okay with a very delicate soft brush i'm just teasing the colors together just to take off any sharp edges like so like that and then i'm just gonna fluff up change the brush around i'm just gonna fluff up the top of the clouds just like that i know i'm looking like i'm really hitting the canvas but only the tiniest touch is touching the canvas only the tiniest part of the brush touching the canvas just very gently take it away into nothing and across these stringy clouds just like so and then we'll repeat this process down in the water okay i'm just using those same colors those gray colors and i'm going to start off on this far mountain okay and what i'm doing is just adding in a little bit of something just redefining the lines it's just a very pale brownie gray remember this one i want it to be far away so i don't want much definition i just want to make sure i paint over the the original lines there yeah, like so and again whatever we put on the top we need to put down into the water so we've got to work that just about right there so don't make your mountains too complex on your first attempt something like so take a step back every few seconds as well every uh, at least every minute or two just to see if your mountain is looking right and your reflections are looking right so i think that's about where i want to go with that one for now if any of these pockets show through that's okay we're okay with that it's been painted so we're not too too worried about that it's no white canvas any white parts you can see are what we've painted on okay a little bit of pale blue for the shadowy stuff just down here again i don't want major definition just on this one and again whatever we put up there we've got to put down here as well okay don't have to be true but get it something like okay different brush and i'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of straight white here and there Make sure we get the cap on the mountain there. It's a softer brush, this. So I'm not scrubbing in any paint. I'm just putting in some snow between the rocks and wherever we want it. Because maybe it comes down there like that. We're going to have some mist down here as well. Okay, back into some more paint. Again, whatever we've done upstairs, we need to do downstairs. And make sure you take the angles right as well. Uh, like that and of course we go that way so it wants to come out there like so. so what you can see me doing is just adding various shades of this gray color on there this has got a bit more brown than, than there because it's a little bit closer to us but whatever i put up here 
like so i'll mirror that down here okay and again it doesn't have to be a perfect reflection no one's going to really tell but you want it something like and i'm using a really stiff bristled brush for, for this okay uh, a little bit lighter down there a little bit less pressure perhaps we're gonna put a lot of white mist down here anyway to separate because we're gonna have some trees and stuff growing all down there but I want some rock work going in while we can get that rock work in and then paint the snow and the shadows over on it a bit more bluer there because this is going to be shadow some deep shadow round about here as well okay so just just keep doing this tinker with the colors play with the colors make it yours get rid of the fairy that's that's floating by okay i will change the colors for the shadow side as well in fact i'll show you that now just pick up a little bit more blue remember i'm just using the same colors red brown blue and white added a bit more blue to it okay well add a bit there so it's a little bit darker bluey shadowier gray all right so using the same colors will mean it's a little bit easier to control okay if you've got a massive palette full of lots of colors you're going to end up diving into a little bit of bit of all sorts and we don't want that so where did that start start there and it goes down there that fair is still about just push it in like that and keep stepping back and having a check on your work now i'm not gonna lie this does take a little bit of time okay so just keep keep plugging away at it okay i think i'm about ready to put a little bit of mist down across here okay i'm not going to be too concerned about this part just yet this is another headland that's our oh, mountain straight in front of us so uh let's take this little uh it's a, it's a wash brush so and it's got a little bit of white on and i'm just gonna fuzz and blend this area down at the base because i want some little trees and stuff like that now i've painted all this in individually with the brushes but you could quite easily do this with a palette knife and i have done a video on that which will be popping up in the top corner right now if you want to see it done with a palette knife and a black gessoed outline so just blend this and then we'll come back and we'll maybe paint some trees or something like that there's a little fairy has gone down there we're gonna have to get that off what i'm doing on this little outcrop of mountains is just gently adding a little bit of texture because it's a little bit closer to us so we can see a little bit of texture whereas i've blended all this texture away with a knife so I'll just go a little bit at a time again emulate the top to the bottom you know whatever you've got upstairs you need downstairs right the mountains are done up and below for now i may come back and tinker with them but i've got a fan brush and i've just got some greens on the color so so i put a little bit more color down onto the palette just put a, an olive green and a cad yellow and of course i can mix that in with a little bit of blue a little bit of brown as i go and i just want some little indications of trees i'm going to get them a little bit bigger towards this jut of stone there but i just want a few little trees there so i'll tap that way and that way just roughly get the same shape and then tease up so just a little lift up and a little lift down fill in a little bit of that area mix it with the white and the blue that's on there and come back i've got another soft brush here that i'm just going to tinker and blend and tease and move the paint in the direction I want it just like that so we've got a little bit of greenery a little bit of foothill a little bit of something going on down there what I've done in this part here folks is I've just taken the knife and I've just tapped on a few indications of trees and let the paint stick and pull off and you get all this sort of like texture and foliage sort of thing and then I've taken a little bit of thinned out paint I just skimmed out a couple of little arms and legs and things on the trees just like that not on everyone just one or two just to give an indication that there is something there all different colors okay what well, we've got i'm pretty happy uh 
this uh, i might change these clouds a little bit but all in all i'm pretty happy at what we've got now i'm taking a liner brush now before we put the tree in this area to fence that lot in what i'm going to do is just take a liner brush and it's called a bravery test i believe and just take it side to side little short strokes and just take your time and just go over the canvas i'm going to fetch the canvas closer in a minute so you can see how it's done but i'm just diffusing some of this and taking some of the light into the dark the dark into the light give that ripply effect okay i don't want much of a ripple but i'll start there and take it across like so and just these slight little variants of movement will give you everything you need that's all you need a little bit of there a little bit of here okay we're not looking for massive movement it's a gentle lake you just want to just diffuse some of this keep it straight as possible and keep wiping your brush if you pick up a bit too much paint okay we're going to add a tree over on this side so i've, I've added a little bit of viridian to the palette and i think we don't want it really that tall but we'll have it well we'll have it there now anyway and we'll just push in the center line just all the way down there not go all the way to the bottom because we want some wood for the trunk okay highlights will come from the right hand side just like we would do normally the fan brush and i'm just going to push up a little bit like so like that just give us some fur on this fir tree okay maybe not so much on this side because i want to hit some yellow but i will get to put my teeth back in i will put a little bit of effort in with a smaller brush just to tweak out some some extra leaves and things like that i like that bit of water there so i'm going to leave that blank and do not forget the branches in front as well i've done a video on that a few times i always try to put some branches in front i do forget i do forget but uh anyway so nice and thick down there I'll get a little bit darker so maybe a little bit more blue to the palette just down here and we'll go down like so and then once we get to where we want to be like that i think wipe the brush hit straight into some yellow i want to put some yellow on that side as well and just come across there like so it's not the final highlight we're going to work a lot on these trees or this tree but i want a little bit of a light a shade on this side uh, keep reloading the brush if you do lose a lot of paint like that just push it in push it in push it around right so i painted the tree okay uh, i added a few little sticks and twigs and well a few little leaves and stuff and then i put this lint-free tissue on there just to dry it out a little bit look at all the oil that's absorbed into this that's absolutely crazy stuff so look at that that's bonkers isn't it okay save that we can use that side to just dry the brushes on okay but now we can work on the tree you can see i did a little bit of highlight there a little bit of dark on there and we're just going to emphasize that a little bit more now uh not forgetting the brushes uh, sorry not forgetting the sticks and stuff the, the limbs the 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 uh branches that live out in front so a little bit of thin oil and i'm going to work on a, a branch let's say about there okay i'm just going to tweak a little bit just add a little bit it's got one drop i think we oh, get yeah, that's it one drop of oil that's pretty dry stuff on there now so we can just really layer some paint on top of it but i just want a little bit of light catching that work it back like so and then we can change the flavor of the paint every now and again to give it a little bit dark side a little bit of a shadow side so 
I might might sneak in there and hit that one. I was just going to have the one tree, but when I took a step back, it looked a little bit still out of balance. Either the tree was too dark, so I'd have to lighten it off, which is not impossible to do. Or maybe add some more darker colours to give it some balance. So I've added another tree, a little baby one there. But we need something else as well, a little something on this side as well. I wasn't planning for it, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark greeny colour. And I'm going to just start us off. I think we'll go taller than this tree. So maybe about there, I think. Let's put a bit of paint on now. There's plenty of paint on this. So we are going to have to work pretty carefully, I say, no, I say as we go down. I'm going to put a, a dead tree trunk just in this gap here. I think it still needs that just to tie everything up. So... Uh, just a mixture of browns and whites on the palette knife. And we'll probably start about there and just draw it down. Now I'm going for the lightest colour first. I'm going to try and dodge any of the foliage that's there. Okay, a little bit of darker colour on the brush. And I'm just going to just put this in wibbly wobbly. Fill it out a little bit there like that we'll probably have to work around these these leaves and branches just down here but you know i just don't want any green in the trunk that's all maybe i should have wiped it off doesn't matter anyway there we go i think we're about done i really i've enjoyed painting this one i really like the crystal clear water that this uh, this composition gives uh we better stop with the trees or we'll end up with a complete forest across the whole foreground but if you've enjoyed this one, please like the video. If the, uh, if the uh, paper, the construction paper template helped you out, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you've not done so already. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe.